Bass Pro Shops One Source. Brought to you by Global Outfitters Outdoor University. Hello and welcome to Global Outfitters Outdoor University. I'm Sam Hall and for Bass Pro Shops One Source, we're in the kitchen again today and we're going to cook up another great wild game dish. We're focusing on fig stuffed speckle belly goose. Now we took these birds at BMW Hunting in Northeast Arkansas. What a great outfitter. So let's get started with this awesome recipe. We're going to serve it with some, some baked squash and some rice. And this is a very easy meal to prepare and to cook and very easy to do in camp or at home. So let's get started and talk a little bit about the ingredients. The preparation time for this recipe is very easy. So let's get started. We're going to use for each serving about a five ounce goose filet. We're going to use some chopped onions, bell pepper, breadcrumbs, a little extra virgin olive oil. We've got a whole fig, but you can also use fig preserves. We're going to use some cream cheese, eight roasted pecan halves, a half a squash, a pat of butter, some Parmesan shredded cheese, and a cup of brown rice. Let me show you how we're going to fillet this breast. We're going to lay it into three sections with keeping it one whole piece. By doing that, we're going to lay the breast down. I'm going to cut vertically along the breast, one third depth, and I'm going to lay the breast open. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the thickest side that's left. Cut one third deep and lay it open. So I'm in, in the end, I'm going to have a big section, a middle section, and a smaller section on the end. I'm going to use the big section to, to, to put my stuffing on, and I'm going to fold over the other two sections to completely cover the breast. It's really that easy. Now all you have to do is load up the ingredients. This takes just a few seconds. Be sure to save some of the ingredients for the top of the recipe. Notice how easy it is now with the breast laid open to where I can spread my, um, my cream cheese, then sprinkle the ingredients all on both, on both halves. Now I'm going to fold over the, the remaining halves and use my toothpicks to secure. I've also saved some of my topping so I can sprinkle them on the top of my finished product. I'm going to make me a quick easy tray out of some aluminum foil. I'm going to put this in the oven. We're not going to overcook this bird. It's going to be cooked just at 20 minutes or a little less. So that's all there is to it. And this is a great meal. And it's just as easy to cook your squash at the same time. Fillet those squash right in two. You lay them open. I like to put some diagonal slits into the meat on the squash to be able to put my butter on top where it'll soak down into it. I'm going to sprinkle it with some Parmesan cheese and such. Make me a similar tray out of the aluminum foil and I'm gonna cook it along with the goose. Again, this is a quick and easy meal. You're gonna love the way it comes out. Now, wasn't that easy? And doesn't that look delicious? Well, trust me, it is. So we'll see you next time on Global Outfitters Outdoor University for Bass Pro Shops, one source for another great wild game recipe.